Sioux City. That was City. the funniest <laughs> thing I've seen. He was literally, he's got his gun on the suit. He looks at me like winks, pulls the trigger. He looks at Blake, damn right I shot yeah. that Sioux. I had to. <laughs> the only one I had. Joe, it's on your side. The unpredictableness of ducks and geese was at an all-time high, and a lot of things that you thought you knew and learned from past seasons, you could pretty much throw them out the window because they were not acting the same this past season. We could probably dedicate almost an entire season's worth of videos from the hunts that didn't go as planned this year. It's undeniable that the weather has an effect on what we love to do and it had an effect on this past season. It always has and it always will. No secret this past season was plagued by above normal temperatures, below normal snowfall, and in a lot of places, record rainfall. The unpredictableness of ducks and geese was at an all-time high, and a lot of things that you thought you knew and learned from past seasons, you could pretty much throw them out the window because they were not acting the same this past season. There was a lot of cases this year where we scouted birds back-to-back -back days, hunted them the third only to have them go a different direction, not return to the field, not fly. So in this particular hunt, we found these geese in a wheat field mid-morning. Rather than scouting them the next day, we went ahead and hunted them the next day and hoped that they would repeat their pattern, you know, 24 hours later. <laughs> And as you can see, probably only a tenth of 
the geese that were in that field the day we scouted and returned the day we hunted. And that was pretty much the norm this year. We had so many hunts where we thought we had these birds pegged, going there that day to hunt only to be completely outdone by them. <laughs> We could probably dedicate almost an entire season's worth of videos from the hunts that didn't go as planned this year. And we've had some awesome episodes this year, and for every one of those good days, those good hunts that we've had, there was a handful of days that we spent in the field or in the marsh, the blind, not firing a shot or firing very few because birds didn't return, birds left, they went the other direction. It's undeniable that the weather has an effect on what we love to do and it had an effect on this past season. It always has and it always will. This past year was abnormal, you know, there was not really anything normal about it. Uh, is that going to be the new status quo? Is unnormal going to be the new normal? Time will tell, but I can guarantee you that the next time that any of us hear the word El Nino, in a long range forecast, we're gonna think back to 2015, 2016, and our blood pressure is going to spike. Hi. Can you say El Nino? El Nino. Say never come back. Never come back. We need better weather. Never better weather. Are you gonna go shoot ducks and geese? No. Honkers and geese. Honkers and geese, those are the same thing. What about greenheads? What happens when you shoot Susie's? I don't know. You're supposed to let them fly? No. Sometimes accidents happen. Go say hi. Run up there. I'm gonna say hello. I'm gonna this is what happens when mommy's at work and daddy and Ben have work to do. Daddy's got work to do. Daddy got work Benny's to gotta do. help me. Benny got to help daddy.